Okay. Assalamualaikum. Now we are now at video number 3 to talk about the basic strategies of the option. We basically enter, we are basically entering into chapter 9. Okay. Alright, before we talk about the basic strategies of the option, let's take a look at the other angle to classify the option. Okay, previously we talked about call versus put, over the counter option versus exchange trader option. So, option also can be uh, classified or divided into uh, stock options or index option okay so stock options nama pun stock options so the option the options underlying asset will be stock or shares lah for example aziata option will give you right to buy or to sell aziata shares tak tak berlaku aziata option uh, give you right to buy selcom shares so bukan bukan kalau aziata option maksudnya give you right to buy aziata shares okay uh, and normally one contract atau one option contract will carry 1,000 shares. Dia bukan macam saham dekat Bursa Malaysia Berhad eh. One contract, uh, one lot equals to 100 shares. Kalau option lain, satu option equals to 1,000 shares. Uh, and if you decide to exercise the stock option, the option contract can be selected through uh, by cash settlement at maturity. Okay, through the uh, you punya CDS account lah, account pelaburan you. And then we have index option, of course, nama pun index options, meaning to say the options underlying uh, asset or instrument will be FKL, uh, FKLI pula, FBMKLCI. Okay, um, so the underlying instrument is the FBMKLCI. So if you buy KLCI option, it will allow you or give you the right either to buy or to sell the FBMKLCI. So the contract size in the, is the index point of FBMKLCI times 100 ringgit. Uh, dia beza dengan FKLI, eh, futures, futures kita nak convert into RM, kita darab 50 ringgit. But for um, uh, OKLI ataupun uh, Kuala Lumpur Commercy Index punya option, you will time 100. Can only be exercised on the last day of trading which is European style. And of course, there will be cash settlement macam juga stock option because there will be no physical delivery of the basket of 100 shares of Bursa Malaysia. Berhad tak ada orang deliver share-share ni sebenarnya. Alright, it will normally settle in the account only. Your investment account. Okay, now let's uh, do a little bit more on the understanding of the call option. Okay, again, what is call option? Option is that give you right for the buyer or the holder of the option to buy the underlying asset. The underlying asset. Okay, I missed the word. Oh, sorry. Let's go back. Okay, I missed the word underlying what? Underlying asset. Okay, now let's go back to the slideshow. Sorry. Okay, alright, so... Uh, dah 30 kali ulang lah what is call option option that give you right to buy or to sell the, eh to buy to sell pula call option is the option that give you right to buy the underlying the underlying asset at the exercise price for example Lucy wants to buy the Azeta share nah, you, dia nak beli Azeta share she forecast that the share price will increase or bullish so this is the market outlook that Lucy has alright uh, bila dia buat forecast forecasting uh, she uh, she 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 expect all right that the share price will increase or to be bullish later on so today what she should do is to buy call option okay the premium of the option is 3 30 cent and the exercise price for ringgit f 50 cent okay the idea is okay kita tengok dulu let's say the current market price increases to 5 ringgit nampak tak sebab dia ada call option okay masa harga mahal tu what she can do Alright, dia boleh beli shares guna option pada RM4.50 and then dia boleh jual dekat Bursa Malaysia Berhad pada harga RM5. Beli dekat Bursa Malaysia Derivative Berhad guna option RM4.50. Sebab apa? Di pasaran sekarang harga RM5. So as you can see, the current market price is higher than the uh, exercise price. Kalau you kira intrinsic value dia positif tau sekarang. Sebab current market price RM5 minus RM4.50 and you dapat RM0.50. Alright, value positive. So, we need to say the option is in the money. Okay, since she buys call option, it will give her the right to buy the shares at only four ringgit and fifty cent. Alright, so dia 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 dia, dia untung lah. Ha, okay, so what Lucy does is known as long call. Long ni is the action of buying the call option. Call is the type of option that she buy. Okay, ha, long call. When Aziata, okay, when Aziata sell the call option to Lucy. 
Alright, Azyata is actually doing what? Short call. Ha, short sebab apa? Dia jual option. Dia jual jenis apa? Call. Are you with me? So, Azyata has the obligation to sell its share at RM4.50 to Lucy. Ha, Lucy, Lucy call broker dia, dia nak jual, uh, dia nak beli. Dia nak beli Azyata shares guna option. Jadi, nak tak nak, Azyata has to sell the shares at RM4.50 to Lucy if she wishes to exercise her, her option to buy the share even though harga pasaran sekarang RM5. Azyata rugilah kat situ. Sebab apa? Dia boleh jual harga RM5 tapi dekat Lucy dia kena jual RM4.5. Why? Lucy comes with the right. Because Lucy bayar RM30 ni kat Azyata to buy the, op, the option. Jadi, RM30 tu is uh, kalau Lucy tak guna option dia RM30 tu dia tak dapat balik pun kalau dia tak beli guna option. 30% tu tetap dapat dekat Aziata. Are you with me? Haa, gitu. Alright, understanding the put option. Put option is an option <coughs> that give rights to the buyer. Ha, ini pun kali yang ke-67. Give the right to the buyer or holder of the option to sell the underlying asset at the exercise price. Example, Sarah believes that the share price of Samidabi will fall or is currently having a bearish trend. Dia jangka harga akan jatuh. Ataupun memang harga tengah jatuh sekarang. She can make profit by buying put option. Why? Sebab put option give her right to buy, to sell, to sell, to sell the shares at the exercise price. Let's say the premium, okay, harga dia beli option tu 30 sen, 30 sen. And the exercise price is 4 ringgit and 50 sen. Okay, let's say the current market price decreases, memang jatuh. Daripada, uh, okay, dia jatuh lah, okay. Sekarang jadi 4 ringgit. Since, alright, Sarah dia ada put option, what she can do, okay, dia beli dulu dekat pasaran Bursa Malaysia berharga ke RM4 and then dia boleh jual harga RM4.5. Why she can sell at RM4.50 because she has put option. Alright, ha, dia ada put option. Put option allow her, allows her to sell the share at RM4.50, the exercise price. Ha, nampak? Beli dekat pasaran market price RM4, lepas tu jual guna option pada RM4.5. Uh, since she's buy the put option, it will, give her, it will give her the right to sell the share at RM4.50. So, first she buy the share at Bursa Malaysia Berhad. BSM, bukan BSM. Bursa Malaysia BMB. Alright. Saya betulkan sekejap. Eh? Bursa Malaysia Berhad. Okay. Uh, saya show balik. Okay. Alright, so uh, again, ha, she since she buys put option, it will give her the right to sell the shares at four ringgit and fifty cent. Okay, first she buys the shares at Bursa Malaysia Berhad, and then she can sell it by exercising or using her option. So apa yang Sarah tengah buat sekarang is known as long put. Long tu is the is her action to buy op, uh, option, and put tu adalah put option lah. Ha, okay, ha, long put maksudnya beli put option. So Dia ada hak untuk jual pada exercise price. So, when Aziata sell the put option to Sarah, okay. Bila dia jual je put option to Sarah, okay. Aziata datang mana? Sam Dabi lah. Salah lagi. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, when the Sam Dabi... Okay, when the Sam Dabi sell the put option to Sarah, Sam Dabi is actually doing put uh, short short put. Alright, uh, they short put sebab dia jual put option. Sam Dabi has the obligation to buy its share at RM4.50. Okay, sebab Sarah nak jual share dia harga RM4.50, maka nak tak nak Sam Dabi kena beli from Sarah at RM4.50 if she wishes to exercise her option to sell the share even though the current market price is now RM4. Uh, okay. Gitu kisah dia. Alright. So, that is put option. So, basic strategi semua ada sekali, ada empat lah semua sekali. Okay. We have long call, long put, short call and short put. Okay. Uh, investors who uh, goes long on call or long on put. Maksudnya, investor yang long call or long put, they have three alternatives. First, do nothing and let the option expire. If at expiry, it is out of the money. Kalau out of the money, kita sebagai... Uh, buyer of the option, kita akan let it burn je lah out of the money. Kalau dia out of the money. Tak payah buat apa-apa. Sebab kalau buat, lagi rugi. So, biar rugi premium saja. And if the option is in the money, kita akan exercise the option. Okay. Alright. Call option. Kalau in the money, okay. Kita akan exercise. Put option kalau in the money pun kita akan exercise. And then, katakanlah, we, kita tak nak exercise. 
uh, kita tak nak burn apa yang kita boleh buat kita boleh sell the same option and close out his position prior to maturity kita jual je option tu kepada orang ketiga okay but for investor who's go, who goes short call ataupun short put you only have to position sebab apa you adalah the seller of the option seller of the option ni tak ada right tau dia ada obligation sahaja so you do nothing and wait for the buyer to exercise or not to exercise and finally buy the same option kalau lah you rasakan you dah jual uh, call option ok you dah jual call option ok tapi sekali market akan bullish so buyer semua akan exercise tau jadi sebelum buyer exercise you cepat beli balik cepat-cepat you punya option supaya sebab kalau dia exercise confirm you rugi uh, because you have to obligation ok to sell kalau buyer nak guna option dia tu to buy ok So the end of the introduction and uh, the end of chapter 8 and also the introduction of chapter 9. I will continue with chapter 9 uh, in my own video saya akan ajar eh, guna whiteboard lepas ni kita akan tengok explanation through whiteboard pula. Okay that's all. Yang mana yang saya tersilap-silap dalam slide saya bertukar tu tu memang saya bertukar terus kan pakai tidak saya kena record balik banyak kali. Okay bye. Assalamualaikum.